The horse camps on this page are sorted alphabetically by title. I entered each of these articles myself and inserted the name of the state or country at the beginning of each title. This works for a small number of items, but as the number of camps increases, this layout will become awkward to navigate. I'm going to use Styleware's K2 Map plugin to create a map that will allow visitors to click on a camp based on its location. It would be a lot easier for me if camp owners could enter their own information on the website and have it submitted to me for approval. I'll use another K2 add-on called JEK2 Story to accomplish that. I'll need several extra fields for the camp items, so I'll create an extra field group called Horse Camps. Within that group, I'll add three text fields for the farm name and also for the address and phone number. I'll add a link type for the camp's website URL. I'd like to use checkboxes for a list of features that each camp might have, but K2 doesn't currently offer a checkbox type for extra fields. I could set each of these up as yes, no radio buttons, or use the multi-select list type. This type requires you to control click to select multiple items. Since users will be entering their own information, I need to make it as easy to use as possible, so I'll select the radio buttons. A duplicate option would be nice here, but there isn't one, so I'll just add each of these individually. Now I need to assign the extra fields group to the category. I have a category called Riding Camps, and under Riding Camps I have state subcategories. I scaled it down to just use two states for the purposes of this tutorial, but the same concept would apply if I had all 50 states. Having a subcategory for each state allows me to create a menu option per state, and in general will help keep the content organized. One of the nice features of K2 is the inheritance of category parameters. Since the camps for each state will be displayed in the same format, I can set the parameters in the Riding Camps category and then tell each of the subcategories to use those same settings. I'll edit the Riding Camps category and set all the layout options. Save the category. Then I'll select the subcategory, Ohio. There's a setting called Inherit Parameter Options from Category drop-down list. Here I'll select the Riding Camps category. I'll associate our Extra Fields group and Save and Close. Then I'll do the same thing with Pennsylvania. Now all the layout options that I set in the Riding Camps category will also be applied to Ohio and Pennsylvania. This column shows the associated extra fields groups, so we can see that Ohio and Pennsylvania both have the horse camps additional fields. Now if I go to Items and edit one of the camps and display the extra fields tab, can enter all this information. Save the item. Like I did for the other sections in this course, I need to set the menu option to the K2 category. Notice here that I'm selecting Riding Camps as the category, 
Also the option Fetch Items from Children Categories is set to Yes. So that should include all the camps in our subcategories. The subcategories are displayed at the top of the page using the default image. If we go back to the Category Editor and edit the subcategory, there's an Image tab so you can upload an image to show for the category. That looks nicer with the state images. Notice also that K2 automatically resized those images to an appropriate size for the category. That's controlled by a setting in the Image tab of the Global Parameters. Here you can see the additional fields with a link to the camp's website and each of the radio buttons displayed with a yes or no response. A nice feature would be to allow camp owners to upload a PDF file of their summer camp schedule. You don't need an extra field for that. In the K2 screen, the Attachments tab allows you to upload multiple files. Click the Add Attachment Field button and select a file. Save the item. From the front end, the download files are displayed under the Published In section. So you can click the link to download that file. I'd also like camp owners to be able to link to videos of their camp. In the K2 Items page, click the Media tab. The message indicates that the Joomla Works All Videos plugin is required to use all the K2 video features. All Videos is a free plugin. You can find it at JoomlaWorks.net. Download and install the plugin. Go to the Plugin Manager. Locate the All Videos plugin. Make sure that it's enabled. You can set options like the video size and colors for the player. Now back to the K2 item. Media tab. There are several options. You can upload a video, browse for a video on your server, or paste HTML embed code. But easier than any of those is the Use Online Video Service option. I'll select YouTube from the drop down list and paste in a video code. The video code will be the string of characters after the question mark VE up to the ampersand. This is the code that you want to copy and paste into K2. Save and close the item. In the next tutorial I'll add the Google Map and set things up so visitors to the site can send in submissions for camp listings.